Hey everyone, welcome back to Turning Point Follow Liberty. Turning Point Follow Liberty, yeah. I almost thought, did I say that name completely backwards and wrong? But apparently not. And this will probably be the last full commentary since I'm probably going to do a majority of the ending battle. Then I'm probably just going to let the next video be completely cut scenes or a little commentary. So I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. But yeah, this is probably one of the last videos of Turning Points. It's been a long, treacherous journey with many different styles of my commentating from angry, just jammering on Dakota to proper English speaking Dakota to better Mike Dakota and just I started out and this was a crappy let's play and it's really quite ironic it was crappy got like thousands of views and the better I thought it got the less views it's gotten so I don't know how that works maybe I should have just kept the volume all messed up and kept rambling on about the homosexual community in my neighborhood which is crap complete crap in my neighborhood not all over the world just in my neighborhood <sighs> get a rocket launcher yeah we're gonna go out with a bang that's what's up hopefully I don't pre do this commentary cuz I'm so excited we're finally finally getting to the closure the, the end finally get some closure coming to an end yes screw no oh my god that is well, if hey, complete fell popped up after I blew up a ton of planes and Nazis, so not a complete fell, a complete win, nothing but win, complete fell. So you should probably change your name when you pop up in my game that I record. Yeah, I think that's really awesome. You get to blow up planes and just screw everyone's day up. It, well, not everyone's day, only the Nazis days. But you know, it's whatever. They made their choice. When they attacked America. And yeah. So. Thing I, really, <laughs> I really didn't want to do this commentary. I really wanted to do a Mario video. But I figured you know what. There's probably a lot of people. Well, not a lot of people. But the people that watch me. Is probably going to go. I want to see the end of this. I hope he does not take another three month hiatus. And not post another turning point video. For another three months. Don't fret. Throw my to-do list. Finish up training points before August. Or yeah, because it wasn't that many videos. I didn't want to try to stretch it out. I just wanted to give you people the ending, so there'll be a complete walkthrough slash LP of it on YouTube for anyone who cares. I know, like, there's been like ten, first ten minutes of training points and a bunch of videos like that, and they've all gotten like half a thousand views half a thousand views like oh my god that oh my lord I just died holy crap I'm not even paying attention yeah there's tons of thousands and thousands of views and it's just like the first 10 minutes I'm like this is a whole LP this game is pretty interesting from a story perspective and yeah and I might cause the anniversary of my channel is coming up September the 13th a couple months Maybe like the fifth anniversary after so many subs or after some milestone, I'll do, if I ever get to doing really good live commentaries, I'll do a redux of turning points. That'd be hilarious. And it'd be drawn out over an entire year. No, I wouldn't do that to you great people. That would be just, that'd be mean. That'd be really mean. And yeah, so grenades. And where the heck did we start? Oh my lord, did we start all the way back in here? Oh my lord. Okay. I don't remember you from any other video. So maybe. Oh god. Gotta kill that dude. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, Rage. I wanna do a walkthrough that so bad. Just cause I love using the crossbow and shooting people in the next and then going blah, 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 and just making the most hilarious death sounds ever in a video game well at least in recent memory I don't know ever but yeah also if anyone watches this which I'm sure there will be a couple people 
put a list of your top 10 video game moments of 2011 and a reason why. Because I'm actually doing an article on Smash Controller about the top video game moments of 2011. And there has to be reasons why you pick those. And of course, I might use some of your ideas to compile a list of my own. I already got a list, but there might be some I'm missing. So if you want to do that and get credit and contribute to Smash Controller, you can go ahead. It'll be like a guest article. Hmm. And I have absolutely no idea. We're in Sector 8B. Or B8. Bingo, bingo! Sorry. I couldn't help myself. I have, in fact, played bingo before with elderly people, and it's quite fun. You'd be imagined how many granddaughters you can pick up at a bingo parlor. <laughs> That's actually really horrible. I should not give you ideas, community. And so we're just basically spraying and praying in the doorways here. Goes. Holy fuck. I actually kind of made my heart jump. I've been watching Revolver 0125 play Slenderman. And I actually enjoy watching it, even though it has made me jump a few times and my heart start racing. And the you know, the common things when you get scared, which yes, I do get scared, people. I even, and even in this game, when the zombies, not zombies, the Nazis just pop out, and it does kind of make me go, holy crap, what the fuck, what the fuck, and make me jump. Yes. I call those cheap scares when you just put stuff around corners on purpose. Just to make people go, ah! Well, you know, whatever works for you. I know, I'm not even paying attention, oh my god. What the fuck? I told you last video, probably the video before, the ending is just, let's just put a bunch of enemies here and have a really good level with a bunch of different layers to the level. You know, ups and downs and around corners and just like fill it with enemies to the brim. It's basically like Mario Hack sometimes. Projectile City, Las Vegas. And you're stuck just trying to dodge like nine bullet bills, a saw blade, a mining mole, and just like 16 enemies at once from all different directions. Which, you know, in this game I don't really mind because you are storming a Nazi Zeppelin with an atom bomb. So in real life that would probably be more than any one man can handle. So I'm not complaining uh, one bit because I did beat the game, which I consider to be an amazing feat of its own. As long I hope they remake this game and fix the gun glitch because that would make me so mad. Being in a firefight, popping out, oh, oh my god. Oh yeah, that's the unique grapples I love. Just, just throw him down there, break his neck and break some other dude's neck. I thought, I don't know, the screen's being choppy from where I'm got this the recorder and all that going at one time but is that two people or one person I can't tell sorry if my commentating is crap because my preview is crap Carson you should be able to see New York on the horizon any minute time I really hate that because I looked over this video six times and I didn't see those names pop up. But yeah, this has got to be one of the best things about this game. Is that the unique grapples are actually unique. And they're fun. And they're the achievements for them. Like the swirly and the throwing the Nazi into the oven. To save the Declaration of Independence. And that. You just fucking take his ankles and throw him up over the ladder into that little mammal type thing. Oh great, now we're in a dimly lit room with a bunch of Nazis and gas masks with a... Was it a P-40? I don't know. Don't really remember at this point in time. As I did record this, then upload it over the course of a year at least. It's, it has to have been more than a year by now. Since I did start this... Well, maybe it's been over a year actually. I don't know. I don't have time to think about and ponder the query of whether I've been uploading this for over a year, under a year, or more than a year, so 
I'm just gonna say about a year, and hopefully that will suffice for my viewers. There's Big D253. I've only played with him in Gears of War a couple times, and he's never played with me again since, so I don't know what the point is having him on my friends list. If he ain't gonna play with me, so I can report off some gameplays and stuff. Also, that's the next game I want to buy, is Gears of War 3, because I want to do more Horde videos, because those were super fun to do. The people that I was making them with, it was a, random, it was a bunch of random people, but they were like, oh my god, that's so cool. This is awesome. We're going to be on YouTube and be famous, and stuff like that. At least that's how I remember it. And that's pretty much my memory. It's either spot on or, uh, were you even there? That's totally not what happened. So that's a quick recap of my memory. More Nazis and doors. Nazis and doors. Nazis and doors. Gonna make a horror's joke. Hey, there he is again. Big D253. Back again while I'm killing Nazis. I think it'd be really cool to have like a co-op series of events in this. That'd be pretty awesome. Oh, and this video is coming to a close right quick and in a hurry. And you're probably picking up the noise from my chair because I'm sitting there twirling it around. And I actually don't feel good. Darn you, Wendy's. The Wendy's was good going down, not so good coming back up. Nah, I'm just joking, it's fine. And, oh my god, I almost thought that said 13 minutes. I'm like, what? It's gonna be forever till I get to upload this. I uh, will probably wait till the next night to upload this. I don't know. It just depends, you see. And I reckon now's a good time to tell you, you catch on the flip side you remember to floss. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Carson, you're running out of time. You've got to destroy that bomb. No matter the cost.